All right. Well, after um, making sure that the king's men is pretty much making sure the king's men is pretty much all but um, low, low. Making sure the king's men is all but pretty much all but drained. Um, the revolutionaries are pretty much destroyed, and and helping and helping a demon king and help it and. And inadvertently helping a demon kill a demon king, thanks to helping out the helping out the local heroes. It's time to it's time to sit back and head to Emsel's bar, and then someone and then a and then a patron walks in. He's a he's a he's a common patron. He's known as he's known as M. He's known as um ha Harris Bunn Jr. And he has a grim look in his face. Like, I do not I do not want to do this, but I have no choice as he walks up to the bar. Alright, I quickly look to my right and to my left. Like, you know, do like the uh, figure motion of like, get closer, get closer. What's going on? The king is. Of course, his royal titus is doing this. Technically, I'm here for two jobs, so fortunately, I can't actually take a drink right now. As he, as he, as a couple, as a couple men start walking in. The first is. You know that labyrinth up north that we that you set up. That we set up. Miss McCorn hasn't paid us yet, so we're looking for her to get our payment. Have you seen her? I can't say I have. Uh, but you, have you seen her? Nope. Last I heard, she was. Uh, I'm trying to remember. She was basically banished by the Sorcerer's Council. She was causing trouble up north. We sent some people in, and then she was gone. I don't know what the hell happened to her. <sighs> I think she escaped alive. Of course, of course. Wow, I don't even need to roll a bluff check on that one because I know exactly where she fucking is. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, the second. Ah, this is something I do not want to do, but we we fucked. But for in a rare person, we fucked up. As as in this fucked up more. The fucked up more badly than what happened when my father went up north to find out what. What the, what the di- what the famous diamond mine was, never to come back again. And yes, that and yes, this is the and yes, this is the and yes, this is the snow covered cavern. You'll find out why when you get there. Frost dragon. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh come on, that was real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I was making a joke. You didn't have to confirm it. <laughs> uh. Anyway, while while we were, while we were escaping, we we dug right into the king. We dug right into the king's um dungeon and pissed off the king, his bodyguard, his captain of the guard, and most importantly, his executioner. Who only fears four people. Three of them are in law and order. One of them is one of them is pr- pr- either one of them is either being a hero or drinking at a bar. Do I hurt do I heard he's do I heard he's a fan of your wine and says that quote I, n- I never had a wine so tasty. If I didn't have to Save the world constantly. I'll be drinking her at um, Veb's bar every once in a while. And one of them, and one of them, no one knows except for, for a few members. Unfortunately, I have to, I have to find, I have to find um, Emzo, your little cat, but your little cat. Your little cat dumb friend, and that 
and that paladin chick. Apparently, the king wants a freaking, um, what's it called, a harem? I don't know. Because he t got tired of marrying signal women. Uh, so unfortunately, I want. I'm not going to. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to kill you. But I'm actually going to. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to hurt you. My guy just fucking whistles, and it's the whistle of like you know, like. It, no, like, and basically, the gearmen start standing up at the tables. Do you, I recommend you retract that now, and walk away? She 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 pulls out her she pulls out her magic bowl, which is uh make a check to see if you remember make a check to see if you remember what bowl what bowl she uses. What 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 she uses? What what specific bowl she uses? You said bullet? Bow, bow, long bow. bow. Got it. So it would this be like um would this be like a um a spellcraft check? Yeah. Okay, I'm pretty good at that, so Twenty-seven. She wields the commando bow. What? And yes, this is the weapon I made up. But t so here's what it does. Anyth anything she says to the bow is fire. So if it's like a, if it's like, hey, f hey, fire, hey, I, fire, fire arrows, it'll fire, fire arrow. Mm -hmm. And it's the reason it's called Commando Bowl because all her men are used, and herself for for a melee weapon, are you are using soldier bows, which is let's just say, hey, I want to use fire arrows. All the men, all her men, now use fire arrows. Well, my men can cast bullet. Very quickly. <laughs> like, I want damage to spore, so, um, bow, like, commander bow, use, use ice arrows. Okay. And yeah. for the first time in a while, I'm going to have to read the roll initiative, since this is actually going to be a fight that actually... <laughs> um... Would it be helpful if maybe like you maybe cleared up like some of the old enemies and so we can actually see with the new enemies and hold on. I can't see anything because uh for some reason Brave isn't working with this browser anymore. Uh, which browser are you using? Brave. Oh. Uh, have you tried with the center? Or, um, dare I say it, back to Chrome? Obviously, the person, the other. obviously these people are... Are 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 men? Give me I'm a second. Sure the other, Firefox. I'm I'm not sure how the other browsers work. Uh, the other uh, non-mainstream browsers work with uh with this. So well, it it, it used to work just fine for... because Brave is Chrome based. It just got a lot of the stuff stripped out. Yeah, Chromium. Hell, probably the hell Yahoo browser probably works just as well. Uh, enough no, from only Firefox and Chrome are officially supported by Rule Twenty. Anyway, enough from the peanut gallery. I'll 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 I'll, uh, I'll, I'll back away. No, you can pe peanut gallery all you want. I feel special. <laughs> Give me a moment. I'm pulling up my... Yeah, 
Yeah, one thing I learned the hard way, Twitch doesn't seem to care much for the Brave browser, but it doesn't seem to mind Gab's Descender browser. Okay, now it's low. Okay. Unfortunately, Descender doesn't do well in blocking YouTube ads. Mm -hmm. Am I my initiative still? Whatever. Oh, wow. My initiative is not good. World kind of low. Oh, come on. Oh, that was stupid. Like no one, no wonder her. I would say no wonder her initiative is super high. I I clicked it one thing. Oh, yeah. uh, that's more like it. I am going last. Tiger going first. <laughs> uh, oops, sorry. Yeah. Fucking ate him! Um... The guy that rolled the 17, is he on the right layer? Because I can't see him. I don't think he is. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun since I can't exactly put the tiger on the right layer either. Okay, at least you can yeah. see everyone, right? Yep. All right, now I'm going to see if I can actually get to the DM. The what you call it, please, so I can actually could. There we go. Now I can actually put put everything put everything on your at your turns.
Uh, just let us know when you're in Seawall. Oh, yeah, I'm in. Uh, where are you? Since I can't see you. What do you mean you can't see me? Uh, your character token's outside. Oh, yeah. Yep, so there it is. So, probably what on the. I'm just sitting at the bar. Most likely. Yeah. Having a fine scrap cooked meal. Yeah, but it's got to be added to the initiative list. Mm hmm. I did not roll well. Better than me. Better than Veb, most likely. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's an AC of six. So. And Reese is there just, you know, spraying down the uh, wine cellar. Hopefully none of that gets into the wine barrels. Because no one likes watered-down wine. And the doggies are going nuts! Is that a golden garden gnome? Yes. <laughs> I would say... I, I almost afraid to ask. <laughs> it's literally a garden gnome that looks like it's made of gold. Oh, boy. The tiger goes first. What are you going to do? I would absolutely steal that garden gnome. <laughs> okay. Sensing that there's something wrong? The tiger immediately pounces onto this guy right here, and hold on, the good old. Claw one, claw two, twenty-six and thirteen. Uh, First one hits. Yeah, technically you only would have gotten one oh. hit because you had to move. Oh, right, right yeah, because I moved yeah. more than five feet. Okay, so yeah, just yeah. if you move walk, just walk. five feet, uh, you could do a full attack. But this was like a charge, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. So technically you could have a plus one on top of that, so. Mm hmm. All right. And I'm going to need him to do a strength check because this is a grab. This also includes grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That will be a combat maneuver, I believe. Yeah, combat maneuver. Yep. Yeah, combat maneuvers are nasty, Ty. <laughs> Especially with animals. Especially since these guys are not exactly strong. I uh, did not roll well. No, he did not. So, he's grabbed. And... Oh, he has to roll a strength roll? No, he has to roll a... An opposed uh, C and B. Okay, got it. Well, yeah, he rolled really, really low, so it doesn't matter. Cause it wouldn't have been a strength check, Ty. It would have been a C and B check, which is your base attack bonus, plus your strength or your dex, whichever's higher. Ah, well, in that case, it'll be in the dex, but never mind. Yeah. We'll, we'll do this later. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right, is that all for, is that all for the tiger? That will be it for the tiger. I have freaking ad luck on. Why am I still getting ads? What the fuck? And they find ways around them all the time. All right. Like, Harris goes, she pulls out, he pulls out a smoke bomb, and disappears. And so do her men. Well, all but the grab, all but the grab man. Uh, they just disappeared from turn order. Yeah, I know. I'm doing this on purpose this time oh. <laughs> because because they they all pulled out smoke bombs to 
to disappear. Well, Wait, Williams, go. Okay. So, I guess uh, is combat over now? Uh, no, it's not. Okay, so these guys all have invisibility. Uh, that that's what the smoke bombs are for. So 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 they could so they could use hot so they could use high. They're all deep. They're all rogues. Okay. Uh, what do you mean? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm a little confused here in the whole grand scheme of things. Are these like instant disappear, like Batman style disappearance time? Uh, yeah. They just drop the smoke bomb. Now, now they're now they're hiding in the now they're hiding somewhere. So they probably use the smoke bomb as a distraction to distract from how exactly they're going in this room. Exactly. Okay. I'll do a five foot step. Well, it's not going to work for that guy. Yeah. Then get behind the bar. Got my rifle out. And I'm going to roll a perception check. Twenty seven. All right. You'll see it. You see. The what you call it, the um the one in front of the bar? Um, yeah. Oh no, the, her um her um means. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna pull it, put, put a pull, pull, bullet pull. right fucking through him. Yeah, as soon as I could. Yeah. Ah, oops, sorry. Ah, come on. I just looked it up again. Both mittens and snuffles have scent. Yeah, I can see right through it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just looked it up mostly just to confirm with mittens. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Come on. Sorry, it's taking a while. Figure out, figure out how to put these people back on the map. You can always do the quick and dirty of just copy paste. Yeah, I just cop. I'll just copy paste and put them back. I just put them. I just make new ones. Why is he giant? I do not know. Oh, oh that's God. why. <laughs> I'm because I'm a dumbass.
Okay, let's do this again. Okay. So yeah, you well, see all of them but the leader. Well, this guy's getting shot. <laughs> So I guess I'll roll that now. All right, go ahead. I'm also going to deadly aim it, so... I'm also using firepower to increase my damage. 23 versus touch AC. That hits. And I got to show what firepower oh. is because it hurts like a mother. Okay, I'm at, yeah, so I'm at 3d8. Okay, he takes 30 damage. That's enough to knock him out, literally. No, I'm killing them. I am, unless these, unless I've got to get to negative uh, 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 con modifier, or negative con. I... I ain't playing around with these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, they're mooks. I've got plenty of... Look, I've got... I'm not going to lie, Kiri. We've got plenty of mooks in jail cells right now to feed to things mm -hmm. in various projects. She, on the other hand, she might be useful. Of course. She's a yeah. regular. Yeah. I will. All right. I will All right. Will your, all right your, your, your chef and fell shadow runs out with a gun mm -hmm. in hand. Uh, uh, carry you. Uh, uh, seawall make a make 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 the make the, make the make make the shot make the. Uh, what's their plus modifier to attack? S same same as yours. Twenty nine. Jesus. <laughs> what's their damage? Like damage damage is cut in half though. Uh, well, I, well, okay. I'm assuming they don't have the 3d8, but I'm assuming they're going to have the same roughly plus two, plus four, and 2d8. Yeah. Because they're going to have vital strike, things like I've got. Okay. Uh, so 17 damage. And who are you aiming for? <laughs> this fucker over here. All right. That's painful. Yeah. A uh, web goes. Okay. I leap over the bar. By chance, do I end up hit crashing into her? No. Yeah. She, she moved. Okay. Move down another bit right here. And snap into a Slim Jim. Actually, no. I think I'll hold back on the Slim Jim for now. Yeah. Because we're not dealing with those that are truly a big threat. So then, uh, give me a second to change my uh, thing because I had the temp modifier set up. What? It doesn't seem right. There we go. Now that looks good. And against this one, 35. That hits. Oof. That's gotta hurt. For 15 points of damage. Still alive, barely. <laughs> Wait, I did 30 damage to one guy. I, I did. I did. Yeah, 70. 30 damage. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, I'm so far. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. I <laughs> forgot you did 30. Why do think I did? Why do think I think you did 50, less than 15? Yeah, that's yeah. that's. Yeah. Yeah, that's dead. Uh, so, 
is this guy dead or alive or in some weird limbo thing? <laughs> like, like sort, like source error type. No, no, no he's thing. dead. He he's pretty much dead or unconscious. Mittens shall leap from the bar and go to her mook. <laughs> yeah. Got us. These are basically minions we're fighting right now. Uh. Or 15? That hits. For five points of damage. All right, that hits. Mm -hmm. You just All got right. conked by a hoof. Yeah. Ouch. Tiger okay. goes. Okay. Um, have you ever seen videos of, like, cats in general? Like, when they have something, they end up then, like... Playing with it? They're black with their back, back claws and then eating. Well... I, I'm, just, I'm just picturing them playing with it. Now, let's start with the two claws. Oof! Ooh! Oh, confirm that roll. Confirm it. Twelve? Nah, too, too short. Uh, it's, still, it's still an auto hit. Okay, so you, should, you know, it's still an auto hit. You got other claws. And he probably won't be alive for this, but I'm just going to roll in his bite attack. Fourteen? That just hits. Okay. Nineteen damage with the claws, and sixteen for the bite. And that's enough to to knock about or kill him. And Kitty wants to play. Kitty's got, Kitty's got a meal, is what you were telling us. Yes. Yep. And that's uh, Snuffle's turn. Alright. Here it goes. I'll just... I'll just make a new person and put it on the screen. Says I forgot how to... actually move... actually bring him back to, um... your, your side of the room. Oops. So who goes? The the leader. Oh, she's doing something. All right. She run. At this point, she 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 ran back. Okay. Ah, oops. Like Shari ran back and attack 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 attacks you and says, I'm sorry my friend. But job is attacking? job. Who who is she attacking? Beb. She's not attacking. She's not standing next to Veb. Veb's. Oh wait, no, no. Yeah, she's ranged. My bad. Uh, that's not hit. No, Ooh, she doesn't have a strong was... bonus either. And at this point, she's hot. And at this point, after this, after confirming that she missed, sadly, she hides again. The rest, realizing that they're fucked, wrestle for reinforcements. So, two of them come running in. <laughs> when do we, I'm assuming my gear men are calling in back up with the radio man. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, 
It's going to be yeah. a few turns, though. <laughs> like I said, two of them come running in. If, there, if it wasn't for your game, man, it's going to be more than two of them. Got it. So basically the guys outside are keeping the others busy, and we're waiting. And more reinforcements are coming. We're just waiting out the clock right now. Yeah. Like this guy, this guy shoots at Veb since okay. he know since they know he's the biggest threat at the moment. <laughs> he's the scariest looking threat, maybe. <laughs> Miss lame. Second one tries to shoot. Miss. Wait, a 21 misses? 23 AC. Oh, yeah. come on. Yeah. Believe me, I try and find ways to build up my AC. And that's it, because obviously the rest are dead or just ran to the room. Yeah. You got yeah. it. Well, I'm going to look for Little Miss Disappear. Use my move action, I guess. 31. Where is she hiding? Uh, she's hiding here. One well, second. I... Let me. One second. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move her to her proper spot. Yeah. Yeah. She. She. She's here getting ready for. New ice out. Game right this fire new ice arrow. Well, I pull out my fucking taser. I paralyze her. This is versus her touch AC, by the way. 25, I think I hit. It hits. Now she needs to roll against uh so half my so five sorry four plus my intelligence mod of five. She needs to roll a nineteen or higher fort save. She fails. So she is now completely paralyzed. For let me check. Here we go. Okay. Uh, on um, uh, an enemy as melee touch attack, the surge of energy strikes the target, uh, forcing them to make a fortitude save, be paralyzed for a number of rounds equal to the steam rights level. Um, and it may make a save at the end of each turn uh, to end the effects. So she is now paralyzed for um, for nine rounds. Oh damn. Yeah. Paralyzer's no joke. And I think that also makes her helpless. Yeah, she can't disappear anymore. Or she well, can't use hides thing. anymore. Yeah. But it's me, she can't use um, what you call it anymore either. I, I basically whistle at the um at the uh shadow to move up uh to kind of get behind, I'm assuming, this overturned table. Yeah. Yeah, and then basically I tell him to aim at her, and then I go, All right! All you drop your guns or she's dead! As they see their leader is completely paralyzed and helpless. Wait, he's... Wait, she, he's a she? <laughs> oh, this... I thought, I thought this was it, her. It, it, it's, it's a she. It's a she. Okay. She's she's tying her gender to so, so, so her man. I'm assuming that guy's perceptive enough to pick up on that. Yeah. So, yeah, so... So I guess I roll Intimidate? Yeah. Uh, the fact that they tried shooting me twice and they just saw the arrows just clink, clink, does that add a little bit of an Intimidation factor? Given that yeah. she's really into Commando Bow and, she, and she's really a lot more damage than everyone else, yeah. So, plus five? Yeah. 36. <laughs> uh. 
One of them, one of them goes under. One of them shoots to the group. One of them. Oh damn! I can't because the way I made them. So 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 they both can switch elements as well, but it takes a turn. Yeah. So. So so she can't. So so soldiers can't aim on the ground to escape through the tunnels. So right now they have no choice but to surrender until either she either she makes it either she makes she changes the command or they have a turn to change the command for them. Okay. So I just short circuit the combat. <laughs> That's why I always make the paralyzer carry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because like, here's here's the funny button. thing. It's an off button. <laughs> These two, these two are actually yeah. medics, so they could have just re. So next turn they're going to re resurrect this dude. Oh jeez, I thought if they're dead, I mean, you know, full resurrection takes time, and it's quite expensive. Yeah, that's they, thousands of gold. If you actually look at them, they all have diamonds. They know exactly what they're getting into. Oh, got it. Because I thought I thought Ray's dead was hey, quite an expensive spell. Like I said, they all, they all have diamonds to know exactly what they're getting into. Hey, hey. Woo! We can so, yeah, so, yeah. So, okay, yeah, the next, on, the next month, on, month company on. turn. The hold next month company turn. I'm assuming, okay, these guys are 10th level clerics? Or oracles? Yeah, but they have no bro But they have no bows. Uh, got, they, got they, they, they literally just ran in to make yeah. to make sure everyone's still active. Yeah, because the thing is, the the most basic raise dead spell, um, the lowest level, it takes a tenth level cleric, five thousand gold worth of diamond, and one minute to cast. That's ten combat turns. That's not easy. But yeah, obviously the combat's over. <laughs> I'm going over to. Okay, Mittens and uh, Snuffles, they're looking intimidating and adorable at the same time. Yeah. I'm going over to uh, their leader. Mm -hmm. I'm picking her up, bridal style, mm -hmm. and I'm bringing her to right behind, uh, to uh, uh, right behind the bar and leaning her against the wall. As we have a, we have a minute before she wakes up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I would assume that, you know, eyes still can move kind of thing. Is that kind of paralyzed? So. Because why? Because those, those bows and those bows and because why put together was nasty if you didn't have that off button. Yeah. If, 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 if it did, if it hit, you would have, you would have had combat damage, combat damage, sneak attack damage, if, assuming the they're assuming they can hide, and f and depending on the element, and depending on the element damage. That in that case, if if the ice arrows hit, the first the first arrow would have slowed you down, cutting your move to half. The second arrow would have, the second arrow would stop your move completely, and third arrow will paralyze you completely because you're being completely frozen over. Actually, uh. As in, a, a, in other words, these and remember, this is just ice arrows. It might, f fire. There's also f there, she also can command fire, fire, electricity, and uh, acid. So yeah, these are some nasty arrows. And remember, all of them have it as long as she commands it. Ah. Okay. Uh, change of plans. As Vep is uh, putting her down against the. Uh, Against the, you know, behind the bar, against the wall, removing the bow from her, from her, and giving it to uh, to uh, William. Putting, I'm putting it in my basically not that technological. Right. Yeah, you, you have two, yep. you have two weapons. Yep. Yeah, 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 yep, yep. You have the longbow, and you have a commander. And you have a soldier whip. Oh. Yep. Well, it's, it's pretty much the same thing as a so as a soldier is wielding, but as a whip. So it's a, yeah. so she so she's going to finish you off with a whip, so so yep. non lethal. Yep. Yeah, so. So after doing that, Vep then decides 
to put her into the uh, to the. No, 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 no. no. Keep her up here. You see me pull out manacles, and I put one on one wrist, and I basically gesture you to ha prep the other arm. Okay. I do so as gently as possible. And then, and then we just wait until she, you know, either saves from this or it wears off on its own. And we're doing the whole, you know, face slammed down into the thing as we effectively arm behind her back, arrest her. As gently as possible because she is a regular and I don't want to lose a regular. <laughs> she, she, she knows too much as it is. So She knows uh, the king I gave her auras and she... And she has a job if the, if she's if she says if she satisfies the king. Yeah, yeah. She, 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 there there is no there is no keeping what used to be as a relationship. There is, you know, getting her allegiance and then putting her in a brainwashing chamber to make sure she stays loyal for a week. <laughs> yeah, uh, pro if, I'm assuming that uh, yeah, she would have on that sixteen. She probably would have gotten it because I'm assuming she got a modifier of at least. Oh no, these are oh no, these are people. Oh no, these are people. Fake. Oh no, these are. They're they're not they're not she she's waiting for this to run out. They're her they're her men they're her men seeing if they could sneak sneak to command to switch to um Yeah to Earth so it could shoot un, shoot underneath to escape to the tunnels. Oh no no I've been having and, my and, in other yeah. words, unless you take their bulls from Oh no no, no. I I'd have two the, of the, the outdoor guys surrendered, so I've now got all the gearmen. Arresting no, as in they're aiming for the floor so no, 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 no. Escape, okay. so they can escape to the Ty, Ty. Yeah. I'm assuming the outdoor guy surrendered too, yes? Yes. Okay, that and I'm assuming there were several gearmen out there? Yes. They're immediately stripping all these fucks of their weapons and tying them up. They're not being given any time. We are taking all their powerful. stuff. Yeah. Ah, okay. Especially those diamonds. Yeah. We're taking their weapons, we're we're manacling them, and we're going to give them a few options in a little bit. But for now, you know, so so so, 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 so that's five, five soldier cross five soldier crossbows and five soldier um rapiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're, we're adding those to the pile of loot. <laughs> that we just keep expanding and you know going, eh, we'll investigate this later and then never do because we find something else shinier. So, as I said, then we're waiting for her to, you know, either save I, and yeah, freeze she, herself. She, 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 she I, the, the minutes up, she's, yeah, she's sh shaking yeah. her head. She's shaking her head again. Yeah, and we just go, slam! <laughs> Uh, and then you know, quickly uh, binding her back, uh, binding the back, uh, uh, binding arms behind her back. And I kind of got it, yeah. And I and I just kind of get nasty and go, "You fear the king? You should have feared us a hell of a lot more." Uh, I was just doing, I was just doing a job. Is it that or my or my tired crew gets it? Or my tired crew gets assassinated by that freaking. By that freaking insane lunatic. He could and have ran. See, and as you can see, the, the thieves aren't exactly skilled at um, combat. You could have come to us. You could have aided you. It would have cost you a they, lot. Granted, we would have. We also would have made it seem like they fought to their best, but we were still left alive. Uh. My condolences for those three. Uh, if you knew them. They knew. They knew oh. they were getting them too. One of them was. One of them was part of my father's crew. I guess my he chose my father in heaven now. <laughs> Plus, how do you know I was a girl anyway? I was trying to hide this from the, these mooks. I'm an anatomist. Facial structure, body structure. Oh, and you know. Pull her up and, you know, a little bit of an anime trope here, but do the whole, like, uh, cut that one cord and then boom. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I couldn't, plus yeah. I couldn't find a, something that looked like a feet looked like a male, but it's actually a female, yeah. but, yeah. so I just used one, one of my 
animated pictures from from the from the earlier campaign that I'd never yeah. used. Yeah. I had suspicions because Mittens seems quite affectionate to you, and Mittens tends to prefer those of the fair sex. Well, my career I'm an anatomist, expert. Well, well my career is over. Anatomy. I'm never going to get respect again. Especially once, especially once these guys tell the rest of the crew. Once. How the fuck did that work? You led them. You led them to who knows how many victories. No, no, no one respects girls in this crew. Well, hell, my father, hell, my father, hell, my father kept my kept my sex secret for a reason. Yeah. I mean, we, I mean, we could, you know, let the king know that she's a girl. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then me add to her her, her his harem. No thanks. I, I rather just shoot myself my own longbow. So I'm guessing you don't want that fate to occur. What if we could protect you and give you another way of earning respect? How? Well, you could come with us. You could explain everything that you know about what the king ordered. Maybe, considering your profession, you probably have a keen eye at specific details. Like, what were some of the fortifications? Did the security seem a bit lax, a bit tight? To tighten, concentrate in some areas, uh, things of that nature, and with that information, uh, uh, check with advantage. Uh, diplomacy. Yeah, because obviously she's not exactly. Oh God. She's not exactly aimed aim for on um, what you call it. Oh boy, this is not going to be a good one. Uh, persuasion, persuasion, persuasion. Where is that? Uh, it's not persuasion, it's diplomacy. Diplomacy? Yeah. Okay. It's a charisma based skill. Okay, I was rolling it under Snuffles, but 18. I don't know how Snuffles did it. <laughs> no, but, the, but, the tiger, but the tiger purrs, like, I okay, so what's it going to, so you want the you want the um the cat you want the weakness to the castle or you want the weakness to um to um star the starlight the starlight city's capital. Since I have a couple of men out there Checking it out to see if there's any weaknesses as well before I proceed to that mission. As far as like important short short term gains that can pretty turn to long term, which of those two would you feel is the best, William? Look, when it comes to the king, we've already got access to his bodyguard and his uh, um, and his uh, uh, and his uh, and his captain of the guard. We can find a way in using them, no problem. But I don't exactly trust this one to keep quiet or not cause trouble for us in the long run. Veb just sighs. Yep. Tries to, like. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm playing a little bit of the bad cop, right? I'm playing the bit of the bad cop right now. But surely there is something she could assist us with. Even more than just that. Surely. If there's anything I can assist with, I'll I'll do it. I well, I, I, I don't exactly have a job here. I, I once once these guys it. once these guys escape and go back to the underground, I don't exactly have a job anymore. They want a male leader. No. Well. I mean, if you prove your loyalty to us, we'll, in a sense, hire you. Yes. I mean, I, mean, if I would prefer... I life. mean, technically yep. speaking, the term it would be more we own you for the rest of your life. Because, well... I'm, to be completely honest, you're completely over a barrel right now. What options do you... What moves do you have left? 
roll of advantage because, well, you kind of tell the truth. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Like, if she goes, if she goes, I would say if she goes back to her men, they're pretty much going to disown her. If she goes back to a king, she's pretty much going to, she's, if she goes out on her own, even though she's a capable of thief, eventually the executioner is going to cast up to her. Mm -hmm. Uh, there, uh, wait, that's me. Uh, where are you? Looking over the uh, other captives we have, do you think Hoxus could use some additional support? Mm, to be honest, these guys were pretty worthless in that fight. Surrendered quickly. Like, like you, you could keep her. Let's just go back to the underground no, no, so no, 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 no. and form our men. I, you shut up. And, and pick a new leader. Yeah. I, I gag him, I, I basically say to the gearman. I throw my axe at his head. No, I throw my hammer at his head. Killing him, pretty much. I'm just trying to conk him out to shut him up. Yeah. Uh, gonna, make, yeah. make a damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See if you can knock him out. Fifteen? It hits. Oh, you said roll damage. No, I meant um, roll to see if you can actually hit him. Uh, Fifteen. Still hits. All right, so he takes. He gets conked for fifteen. And he's like, "What the? Fuck? We'll pro we'll promote you as leader then, if that's the case." I'll just whisper into your ear. If you kill each of them while looking them in the eyes and slitting their throat, we will, we will, we will give you a second chance to work with us. Damn! I can't even do intimidation roll. Can't even do um, what's it called roll since you pass on you pass on Magley. If we roll in that one. And the best part is you can't fail a skill check. And no, this is this is I'm trying oh, to convince okay, her. I, I'm the devil on the shoulder right now. I'm not intimidating her into doing this. I'm the devil. Convincing her to, you know, choose herself over them. Uh, Snuffles puts her paw onto uh, her sh onto I'm legitimately blanking out on her name because I thought I had it in the notes and I don't. What was her name again? Her her real name's cause her real name is um ha Harriet, he just, she just uses the name Harris. Yeah. Harriet, H-A-R-I-D? Harris. I was asking the real name. Her. Harriet. Oh, Harriet, okay. Snuffles puts uh, her paw onto Harriet's shoulder, looks, and kind of looks her in the eyes, like, you know, kind of glistening eyes. Like, why... Like, have you ever seen, like, uh, Shrek 2 and Puss in Boots? Yeah. Imagine that scene right there, like, where Puss's, like, eyes are just going wide open and I'm just trying to look so innocent and cute. Snuffles is basically trying to do that. And licks her, licks her cheek. Yeah, as I said, I'm, I'm the devil on the shoulder right now. Basically, I'm, I'm trying to corrupt her. Oh, boy. Well, unfortunately, not, not, exactly, not exactly hard to corrupt a thief. Yeah. Snuffles is really taking a liking to you. It took a long time before she actually would try to stop eating me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm going to explain what happens. Immediately, she takes William's gun and shoots all them. And shoots her Ow. men dead, I, we, like we, boom, we, boom, we, boom, we, boom, 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 boom. We've got her arms behind her back. Oh, damn, I forgot. <laughs> we we kind of got to get a step one taken care of first. masterwork manacles that probably my guy made, so... Uh, so and again, I Okay, say, okay, I'll say she broke. she broke the man... She she unlocked the manacles before she pulls it off dead. Four, DC, she beat a DC-40 lock? 
I'll say her father's a master thief, so yeah, yeah she, she figured a way out. So yeah. story point can yeah. really cool story convenience. Yeah. Uh, Just a, plus a cool yeah. story of convenience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what I'm guessing what she grabbed my the scalpel out of my hand and did as I told. Yeah. Slitting their throats one in one at a time. Yeah. As she's uh, as she's doing that, I'm gonna go walk up to the guy I conked with my hammer and grab my hammer back. Oh no, she's oh no, she's saving him for last. Ooh. She just she just walk she just walks up, breaks breaks her breaks his back and twists her neck. And twists oh. his neck. Got it. It's a little bit different than what I suggest, but you know what? I'll I'll let her go dealer's choice on that one. Yeah. You know. I, I can't be mad. She's dealing with the guy that pissed her off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. My, my, fa my father is also a master thief. Hey, why think he named? Why think he ma named me Junior? See, the, the, the senior, the senior is pretty much a, a, ma a, ma a master at this. Well, how many know you are? How many know you're uh, a woman? Besides these people and you guys, no one else. Not even the underground. Good. <laughs> After all, because they're, they're looking for a male to female tales. named Harris. Not Say a again? Because they're looking, as I said, you know, they're looking for a male thief named Harris, not a female, uh, not a female thief named something else. After all, Harriet, with this, you can just disappear into the wind. They won't find you. Wow. Well. Well, you know what I'm just... saying. I'm trying to be poetic for once. True. Oh, I'm not good at it. Ah, fine. Ah, <sighs> it's gonna be tricky though. Can't exactly rely on the underground anymore. Which is pretty much, which is pretty much a submarine. Which is pretty much the sub the the submarine tunnels from last game. You mean the underground that we've gotten a good chunk of ourselves? Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, the uh, there's more to the underground than yeah. what what Miss what Miss McCormick knows is. Of course, the metro is more extensive. Oh, we we, oh, we dug we dug into the mountains and we tried to get back to the um, diamond cave, but no one's stu stupid enough to go up there. Oh, I've got ideas of how What's to get there safely. Say again? Why is that? My my father and my father and their best at best thieves alive went up there and only one survived and well, you see what happened to him. Point points at points at what points at I guess what what the tiger what the tiger is chewing on right now. <laughs> yep. Well, she's got to get her protein in. Yes, she's a good kitty. She gets she gets the good stuff. Yep. And then I pat uh, snuffles like on the uh, the top of her head. She probably gives me the stink eye as I'm interrupting her meal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, like once, uh, once Snuffles is done, she'll kind of like, I guess, saunter as far as like tigers can do, like up to Harriet, and like, you know, start like nuzzling. She she pats Snuffles since well, she just executed her own men, and you can you can tell by her eyes it's not the first time she had to execute. She she had to um let's just say handle justice on her own. And then Snuffles gets on her hind legs, puts both paws on her shoulders, and just starts licking her face. She actually laughs, and you actually see joy from her face for a while. Yeah, like I said, Snuffles seems to have taken a liking to you. What'd uh, you say? I'm still going to need a few, uh, a few assurances that you're not going to cause trouble. You're clearly quite capable of escaping, and I hold the manacles. Some of the best work I've been able to make. Well, like, let's remember, my father's a master thief. She, he was telling me, 
He is teaching me how to escape manacles and well, well, weapons. It will stick your weapon since I was three years old. Mm. But, I, but I'll say, this, those manacles were tough. It took me a while to escape from them. I mean, my original thought was, you know, take you back to the castle, strap you into a chair, and then we just brainwash you for the next two weeks until you're pretty much incapable of anything but loyalty to us. The question is, though, how much of your skill would we have lost if we did that? As a DM, who can, as a DM, you're going to lose a lot of your skill. Yeah. So. P- plus, you could plus you could escape the shackles anytime if you want. Mm-hmm. If she has. Plus two weeks is more than enough time to escape any shackles. Well, remember, this This isn't just regular chair. This is some beyond Howard Houdini shit, you know. Each arm, uh, down, legs, multiple other restraints. And these aren't, uh, like, uh, physical lock shackles. They're the screw-type shackles. Ah, never mind then. Yeah, it, 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 remember, Ty, I not, designed not, not, not even Master to Steve. brainwash people. <laughs> not even Master Thief could escape them. Yeah. Then. They're metal chairs, too, so they're not easy to break. <laughs> Please don't tell me we're going with the supposed German type of uh, torture chairs that had the spikes on it and, like, the... No, 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 no. Uh, th- this is more, uh, think, um... Oh, what was it? I can't... It's, it's cropped up before, like, um... Uh, like Joker's done it to various uh, people, where he's got like the weird psychedelic patterns with like an audio recording constantly playing. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of. Why, that, uh, why, why did I think of? Why did it, I think it, of it, Batman it Beyond to Return to Joker? Reprogram their subconscious mind while breaking down their will, That's and then we feed in what we want, which is just absolute loyalty to us. Like I said, why are you thinking of Return to Joker? You know how he broke Tim Drake. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Well, Tim Drake was also a combination of things. This is more just pure hypnotherapy, done for an extended period of time. Anyway, she says, "Okay, what do I have to do to prove that I'm loyal to you?" Uh, series of jobs, as well as do things you're probably not going to be comfortable with. I just killed my own men. It's not exactly the first time. Exactly. Plus, the fact you've done it before means you were capable of it the whole time. Plus, it's not. Plus, remember, I'm still a thief. So, what kind of jobs you need me for? Well, that sub. Well, that 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 uh, automatic weapon is curious to me. I've developed. I've developed my own, but it's a much larger contraption requiring a small crew to operate. It's quite effective, but uh, temperamental. Let's say that. So. So, so the job the king's hire was going to hire me for as well. Yes, but you're going to get it to us instead. Not only that, not only that, but we want to make sure we want you to make sure the rest of your crew is gone. We don't want them. We don't want any way of for you to be tracked back. As I said again, Harris is dead. He died here. <laughs> Problem is, two of my, three of my crew is already down there. Um, scouting out information. I can have some of my own miners take over their role of uh, digging through. No, no, I meant um, in New, in Starlight City. Yeah, if we can send our own mining crew to finish the work of tunneling. You said you were tunnel. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I thought that was meta. Uh, we, 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 we can have, we can have a dish. We can have our own. Loyal. We, there's a couple of loyal people that we can have take their place. All you'd have to do is act like they're new members of the crew, and then eliminate them. Well, your old crew. All right, very well. What was your plan for getting a hold of it? Once we knew the weakness of their electric fence, we're going to we're going to we're going to use we're going to use it to dig through. We're going to use we're going to use it to dig through. With these rings, and she shows up. She shows up a ring, which is pretty much a ring to, for him to make make a tunnel of nut 
make her clothes off a ton of necessary. Gimme. To to sneak in and grab the and grab the schematics of the weapon. Knock knock out or kill anyone that's necessary and then it and then escape using the king's um vessel before they notice us. Hand it over. She takes out the ring and hands it to you. I store it. I have to be studied later. Now, not a bad plan tunneling in, but I've got a few other ideas. Can't that, uh, my crew says we can't fly in. They are they already have um what to no no more, the, more the tunneling, fire the tunneling is fine. We have methods. Uh, what, what what method were you using to generate? Uh, the ring was used to generate the tunnel, correct? Yeah. Okay. Not the biggest fan of using that much magic. That's noticeable. They probably have magic sensors. We'll have to do it old fashioned. Though much faster than expected. <laughs> Dwarven might and the mines. Not quite. Alcohol. Um, not the quite. Uh, Deb, have you been up to the mines recently and checked out some of the uh, various innovations we I've been able to implement in there? Hey, you mean like that's like that jackhammer? The steam drill. Yeah, the steam drill. Yes, I think. Yeah, well, the like, I, I basically think like, like, they got the backpack boilers, so they don't even need to be hooked into one of the uh, main pipes. Oh, that means a bit more flexibility. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but we were generating so much, I've had to send a huge chunk of the crew to the gold mines. <laughs> we were we were basically running. Yeah, they were still technically running full shifts, but they met their quotas really quickly. And nice. they nice. said, Speaking fine, of. whatever, paid them the rest. Want to keep them around. Yeah. So, Speaking of, progress was made like as far as that area by that like impossibly cold uh, area where we first went in that one time? Oh, yes, uh, it's been expanded. I've got a few different things up there now. Excellent. Mainly stuff Starting I want to, to colonize the north. Safe. Mainly stuff I want to keep safe. Since the only way in is through the mines we control. Now. Now, and I say, do you happen to have a map of Starlight City? Of course. And she, she pull, she pull, well, she pulls out for her breath. I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining at this point we've gone back to the castle, by the way. Yeah, After, you know, we we collected her guys, brought them all back to the castle. You know, back to yeah. Her, she you know, she pulls out from the orange person that place that obviously no one's going to check her breast and 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 pulls out and pulls out the map. Yeah. Yep. So take the map, unfold it, and I go. Okay, where are the schematics and prototypes currently set up? Uh, right here. And she she points she points at the capital city was surrounded by electric fence and. Obviously, for service to air, not, well, well, magic, not missiles, but you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, nor here at the at the at the upper south. Okay, I'm guessing this is like a magical research building. Yeah. Okay. Next, so they ha so they have unstable chemical products on site, correct? Including very toxic ones. Uh, yes, there is. Okay. Um, and around this, around this, is this residential where people live? Uh, no, this is no. all, no, past this fence is all government owned. Okay, got it. So they don't have anyone. Okay. Do they have any, uh, what method do they use for moving power around the city? Uh, ma magic based. Okay. Is it underground? Yes. Has it ever been known to be unstable? Back when the la back when the last presidential we're seeing was, but ever since this president took over, she he knows what exactly what he's doing, especially Where, especially since he's especially since he works with the Magic um, Council. Okay. Where were you planning on starting this tunnel? Uh, right here, the residential, right here, as close to the right here in the middle of the residential area. We had, we. We we rented we rented the we rented a room and gave and gave the landlord um let's just say a bit a lot so let's just say a lot money not to bother us for for the next month and a half. Okay, I believe we could get crews in there quietly without anyone noticing. There's a few ways of doing it. Next, okay. Is there a one of these magical lines going between nearby where this house is and that research facility? 
Uh, fortunately not. Once we get, once we got the job, once we start, once we start digging the tunnels, we have to do it one shot. I have to go in, get the, get the, get the schematics, get the gun, killing, killing resources that um is trying to um infiltrate, stop us, and then get out before, get out before anything else. We all have, a, we all have an unmarked ship waiting for us by, by the king himself. Okay, ships shouldn't be too hard. We've got steam-powered vessels, as well as various other amphibious methods of getting you in and out without anyone noticing. Okay, so, new plan. Bring in some my miners to replace your crew using their tech to dig a tunnel mm, up all the way down this way. Unfortunately, we can't collapse that tunnel with a large amount, what I originally planned. I wanted to make it look like there was a large overload in the magic system, causing a uh, explosion, you know, hurting a lot of innocent people. But unfortunately, we can't do that. So instead, we'll just have to collapse this facility uh, in and of itself. Should um, uh, He's going to do some quick calculations uh, based on kind of the rough information he's got about this, how much blasting clay he's going to need for this. So, yeah. Yeah, the idea is basically uh, the, a great way to leave no evidence is if the building no longer exists. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so, okay, so we'll dig in. If we do a big enough explosion, the tunnel will collapse, and we can collapse the tunnel enough that's, that no one will notice it. We have ways of storing... I've got way We've got ways of storing the material that we mine out, um, which we then use to refill so no one will know that we did it. Okay, not that hard. So we'll get. I'll get a team together of some trusted gearmen that, were, uh, that also work in the mines, uh, get our newest uh, mining equipment... And I guess we're going to Starlight City. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't have to exactly have the map yet, so you gotta use the imagination. I bet you. Could you, like, maybe give us, like, a, a brief description of what the city's like? Pretty much New York City combined with Washington, D.C. To quote, oh god, I'm blanking on his name. He was from Batman Beyond. Do you have the slightest idea how little that that narrows it down? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy, you killed my father. Yeah, how, how little that narrows it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's a bit. It's a big. All right. It's a big city. There's like flashing lights. Lots yeah. of magic almost yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and that the capital of it is a fence-off area with electricity, anti-air missiles, and pretty much yeah, the the middle is the the presidential building, like pretty much the White House, and all around is the research facilities for like advanced weapons and magic or something like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me rephrase that. What what is the first what hat? One's a presidential building, the White House. The other is a is a head of the ma the is the is a head of the is a representative of the Magic Council. Mm -hmm. yeah. And all and all around it, with with electricity lined by and a lot of people wielding magic magic weapons. On both the on both the army and and the um the council's personal bodyguard. Let me pull up her name real quick. Ah, damn it! Now it's set up. And realize personal magic guard is to make sure no one gets in without no one gets in. Without any permission, and they do, they'll met with lethal force. Okay, so um, I guess we'll go to the. I guess we'll, as I said, we'll we'll quietly start the construction, and I'll um find a way to store all of that material. Well, like I said, they they rented the house for a month and a half for two months, and 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 paid, and she paid the landlord not to bother them for two months, no matter how much. 
tennis complain. So you have yeah, a house. I don't, so you have a house. I don't, I, don't, I don't want anyone to bother us, period. We're doing this clean. So basically, we'll have everyone kind of slowly enter the building. And certain people aren't leaving the building until we're until we're done. <laughs> so okay, guys, uh I'm sorry, uh Kiri, how are we gonna hide this dirt and stone we're gonna start generating? Couldn't we like uh, grind it down and make a form of concrete? Uh, building materials. I could set up some uh, portable devices that do that uh, in the field. I can get material from pretty much anywhere around here to do it. Also, inevitably, those trader guilds, occasionally they do need raw material. So we yeah, but the problem something. is they always question where it comes from. And at the same time, we don't want Hoxus to be completely discovered yet. Yeah. Though, uh, but I do want I do want to reinforce this tunnel with the uh, with concrete as we go because I've got plans for this tunnel later on. What about our keep? Could we use some of that excess material again, uh, refined properly, to not only rebuild but also then reinforce? Again, again, the, again, the trick. Uh, the problem is it's not a material problem. It's a how do we get it out of the house without anyone noticing? What are your thoughts on marine-based pollution? I'm not a fan, but, you know, this is short-term only. Yes. This is there where we have our storages are filled. We can't do much more. We gotta get... Well, you know, well, I, I'm gonna say, well, okay, because the thing is, Starlight City is a different city to ours, Kiri. That, that, that's the problem. We, we, uh, we are in somebody else's territory. And we've got to basically we've got to dig a tunnel, which is going to be a lot of material, and we got to get rid of it from the house. What happens to it after it gets? If we get it sneakily from the house, I don't care where it goes. Hell, we'll probably just, we could dump it in a field somewhere. No, as long as no one as long as no one questioned the pile of dirt that formed. That the, the problem is how do we get the dirt out of the house? You know what? If we put it in chests. And, and well, no, no. This is this is a residential house, not a merchant house. So chests are going to be noticed. So how do we? What about? Uh, uh, I've seen them before in like a few houses. They have like this box, like around the size of a coffin or so. But you just lift up the top. You then pull out your clothing, uh, bureau, dresser, footlocker. Something like that. Yes, yes. Foot locker. That's it. Those are not out of place in residential areas. At least enough, because, well, generally speaking, people at least have the common courtesy to not pilfer through somebody's wardrobe. Mm -hmm. uh, generally speaking. Generally. Especially yeah. if. Okay, hold on. Actually, I figured out how to do it. With some of my inventions. If I uh, use most of my secondary invention slots for um, and, and, a, and a bunch of my modification slots, I can move about a thousand pounds of material per mass relocation unit. Those things weigh five pounds. No one's going to notice those sitting in the back in my backpack every morning when I go out to do stuff, and I can just dump it somewhere, like out in the ocean. Yes. Like I said, it's just short term for uh, disposal. Yeah, at least that's the excess material. Obviously, I'll set up a reprocessing unit on site to try to uh, do that, and I can bring in things like, from the warehouse district, things like um, the stuff that we can't generate on site for construction. So, depending upon how long we have the stuff underwater, it could potentially form coral. That's also I... another potential uh, material that we could use, like well, as for for. Uh, make your place look nice. Well, I guess I'm going to learn how to fish because I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to become a fisherman. Small independent fisherman that catches fish. Yes, and the fact that I happen to cap managed to get some good building material, that's just pure coincidental. I, did, I never got any building material. What building material are you talking about? Well, a random boot, usually. <laughs> but you know what I mean. No one's ever going to know. 
as I said, two mass relocation units um, should be able to pull off most of what we need. Mm -hmm. That's 2,000 pounds of material a day. That's a ton of material a day, and I'm assuming that... Um, uh, Ty, could I... Um, uh, could I do an engineering check to make like um, start making a machine in that basement while the guys start the digging process with the drills? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a, I believe, and and those check. where she where she's standing is where the um tunnel tunnel was playing out beginning since that's the closest to the to the, to the capital. She that's the closest to the capital. Without, okay. without raising okay. suspicion. Got it. Well, what we'll do is well, well, without, well, without, well, without, win without windows, um, yeah, peek in, so I say. Fifty three to make a a, a a material reprocessing unit of some sort. Hey, yeah, I uh, guess you can make it, it right about here. Yeah. Well, eventually, I'm going to move it. We're going to make a basement and put it down in the basement. And we'll have everything vent out. I'm assuming this place is a fireplace somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. We'll. Ha I'll. Just, I'll build a pipe going that'll vent out that. No one will notice a smoke. A little bit of smoke coming out of it. So. And then I guess we'll work with our miners, and we'll just like, do around the. I'll say the fireplace will be about here. About where? Here. Yeah, that's not that hard. We'll just dig a small tunnel over here, because as I said, we'll just build basically a room about. From here to here, basically covering this half of the house, kind of stopping here. And we'll have that as like an underground basement storage area that no one notices. We'll dig it out, set up concrete reinforcement to hold the house up, and no one will notice. So, and we'll start the construct. I guess we'll start working. We won't use magic, though, so they don't notice us. Yep. As we have the guys use the hand drills. Then the material is brought down in little mine carts. It goes into a machine. Then the stuff is vented out here. All we have to do is keep the unit filled, the keep the thing's boiler filled with water, which it's fucking water. No one's going to notice that. And um, I'm assuming, and I'm assuming, Ty, that the reprocessing unit, um, it's pretty, it, it is hopefully decently efficient at converting it into, you know, materials we can use. Uh, yes, it is, and I should note that once he gets, once he gets the um. Once she gets everything from her men, she um, she feeds she feed she feeds them a very interesting and she feeds them a very interesting um drink, and they go to sleep forever. Yep, and I will, and I will find I'll find a way to store their bodies. <laughs> so, and get rid of them. I. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she's a, she's a decent. Uh, yes, her father taught her a decent amount of alchemy as well to um, make poisons. I mean, if you're interested in the disposal, there's a little trick that I learned in the order. Mm -hmm. If there's far too many, if you can acquire some quick lime, that will help with the uh, destruction of the bodies, and then everybody get down to incredibly base components. All that would then remain is stuff that could be easily incinerated. I just don't want corpse smell around here for a while, but I think I'm going to get a hold of some easily enough. So. Granted, he was considered a bit of an oddball of the order. Mm. Henry Howard Holmes I've, I've, was quite I've, I've strange. Heard of, I've heard of concepts like that before. I just haven't really looked into it all that much since, well, I haven't needed to dispose of a corpse like that before. But for now, let's get let's get uh, full operations underway. We'll deal with the bodies. And so, uh, Ty, with a small crew of, let's say, um, five, ten guys, I'm assuming we can kind of make it seem like there's less people at this building than there are because by just saying, hey, you guys have been paid a crap load, just don't leave the building at all? Uh, like I said, with the, with the money, with money, uh, Harriet paid the landlord, um, no one's going, no one's going to bother you, so, Yeah. You got to well, make no, no. what I mean is, I, I, the thing is, she paid the basically paid the landlord to never show up and cause her trouble, or a, uh, or or call the or have a or have any the tenants call the police or anything like that. She yeah. she knows she knows uh, she the original plan she knows is going to make a lot of noise so that yeah. Whereas I'm doing stuff a little bit quieter. Yeah. 
much quieter actually. So no one's gonna. I'm gonna try to make it so no one notices what we're doing. So yeah, no one definitely knows what you're doing. Since yeah. at least for the next two months, no one's going to bother you. Yeah, I'll actually. Now, now after two months, months, you're fucked. But yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, but the thing is, you know, once two months are up, as long as nothing weird happens around here and we just kind of generally leave, no one's going to care. We'll just do a long-term lease. Like, oh, we, we, we'll use it as a vacation home. Yeah, just go about your day-to-days. You know, go out, get some groceries. Go back, go out, eat out. Yeah, so. so we'll, uh, yeah. as I said, we'll start, drill, we'll start the drilling. And the and drilling we're begins. Quick, uh, we're Ooh, quick and do I need to do a, like a craft engineering check on this one? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, I'm assuming so. To make sure the drill doesn't break 40. down and the wood doesn't. Yep, we have a little railway. You know, I quietly leave and come back, you know, picking up supplies from a, a vessel that, you know, will be off the coast periodically. And as I said, I'll just use my little, uh, I'll use my little steam wagon. It'll be a little fishing boat, and I'll literally learn to fish. <laughs> oh boy! Let's see. Even though they paid, even though they paid the neighbors not to, even though you pretty much paid the neighbors not to bother anyone. Let's see if on the way there you, you get to bo- you get to bother some of the businesses or anything like that. You mean my entire? mean my entirely silent steam wagon? Oh right. So yeah, that'd be a waste of it's time. In, it's entirely silent. I just basically go to the harbor, I go down one of the slips into the water, I go out for the day, you know, then I come back with some fish. <laughs> so, after about, oh, let, seeing that it's much slower than her original method, after about a week, you actually could see, you actually could feel the, um, the electricity coming from the fence, I meaning you're al- almost there. Got it. So we're kind of getting that tingling sensation. So this is pretty powerful yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we'll continue. As it, but also remember, I'm making a permanent tunnel, not a temporary one, too. So and we'll keep. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're. I'm just saying. You're. You're getting close. To, you're getting close to the um, like the mm-hmm. electric fence. Yeah. So we'll be, we'll play it safe as we drill through, continuing on, making sure everyone's wearing insulated equipment. All right, as you continue on, you actually hit a quick wall real quick. When you dig through the wall, you actually find some underground um, tunnels. So, yeah, congratulations! You're now you're now beneath the you're now beneath the cap the capital city. Neat. <laughs> you better. I'm gonna I'm gonna immediately make a fake door so no one notices that we tunneled into this thing. 57 just to make a master mechanical door. Ah, that's, let me let me check real quick to see if any soldiers notice. Uh, stealth check versus the 14. Okay. Twenty. <laughs> All right, you. All right, you sneakily put up the door, and the soldier did no, and the soldier did not notice. Yep. So, <laughs> so we now have a way into this capital that no one knows about. <laughs> all right, congratulations! You're now you're now into the capital building, which means all this, which means you get to go through the president's secrets if you. So, so choose so, as well as one of the um, as well as one of the what you call it, um, sorcerer council since they're in the same building. Well, first things first, I would definitely like to get those secrets, getting copies of everything. Oh, I as a DM, I suggest you aim one at a time, or as one. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, could, yeah, yeah. Increase the stuff yeah, checks. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this because the thing is, the Sorcerer's Council. I'm not as worried about them in the long run because I've got various counters already planned. It's these guys that actually have a concept of technology that I'm worried about. So I'm gonna get the. Uh, like I said, like I said, the more, the more secrets you try to grab, the the more I'm going to increase the stealth check. So 
grab one at a time. That's as a DM. <laughs> Got it. So as I said, I'm gonna. I'm not saying I'm grabbing it all one night. I'm saying I'm slowly grabbing it over time. Over like you said, it took us what? How long did it take us to make the tunnel total? Five days. Wow. So it didn't take us long to tunnel. Okay. I'm literally gonna spend a month, the a month, just slowly stealing all of their secrets. <laughs> hmm. Trying to figure out how to do this. It's obviously it's going to be guards and yeah. scientists, and the president himself is pretty much a sticker for the rules. Yeah. Well, first thing I steal is the guard schedule, and and the uh, manual for uh, you know patrol routes and things like that. That's the first thing I steal. <laughs> In that case, make me a stealth check. Yeah. Twenty three. You get you get a little bit of the guard schedule. You don't you don't get the full you don't get the full months. Okay. Well I got a little bit. I can use that as a basis. So I now know roughly how many guards are on schedule. And did I get the patrol routes and rough times when they go around? Unfortunately not. Damn it. I'll try to grab that next. Stealth check and like I said, the blue increase it. Okay. I'm gonna re-roll that my one re-roll. Twenty-seven. All right, you get to you get to patrol routes. Okay, I now know the patrol routes in the rough times, so I should be able to make. I'm assuming that it's gonna lower the DCs going forward because I know how they do it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab that machine. I'm gonna grab that submachine gun. Um. For, uh, does that uh, what, what about the say, Curry? Uh, not being a dick or anything, but unlike the uh, information we have as far as the schedules go. Is there like any indication that denotes that this is the schedule? This is like the uh, routes between uh, November first to November tenth. Afterwards, uh, new routes will come about. Something like that. Oh, you actually hit it on the head. That's exactly that's exactly what Kiri stole. Yeah. Like, like, like you only got you on grab a temporary schedule. After that, the schedule switch around. Like okay. I said, this president isn't no fool. Okay. She, he know, he knows that um, re repeat powers either e equal defeat. And well, it 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 lowered the DC, but it's still a decent DC. So see if we can grab the machine gun. Schematics. William. Yes. Machine gun schematics. Yeah, I'm grabbing those next. But actually, I'm going to do something very specific. Thirty-three to grab them, but I'd also like to introduce a fatal flaw into the design that they have. Oh uh, boy! In this case, make me a mechanics check since you have one of the be some of the best scientists in the world, so they will have no, known before you do. You mean a craft machinery check? Yeah, because you have one of the best scientists in the world, so they will know. Yeah, they have know. They have know that their plans were switched. Okay. Fifty-one. Uh, yeah. Motherfucker! <laughs> I've got a thirty-five to craft machinery. So I put a fatal flaw so that when it's used the first time, it will explode and kill the operator. Kind of funny. I've I've run another campaign, yeah. and one of the and one of the girls' plan is to freaking um make because in this campaign guns are pretty much new. She pretty much created the first gun. Her her mission. Is to give the guns to to the demon guards and then have them explode at her command. Yeah, yeah. This one, this one is it's going to explode during testing and kill the operator quite gruesomely. And I'm going to make and I'm, and the thing is, the thing is, these guys can be confident. So it, the thing is, the more they uh, claim that oh, this 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 should have been fine, you know, it it it, it, it the more guilty they look that they uh, that they overlooked something. So, yeah. Yep. 
Got it. So I've got those plans. So is there any other plans you want to grab from these guys? Uh, let's see now. I mean, their intelligence reports on us would be useful to know. Yes. Try to try to grab it, but unfortunately, it's going to be at the president's mansion. So the <clears throat> stealth check is not going. So your guard, the guard schedule is not going to be useful this time. Twenty one. Not enough. Got it. I'm, I'm assuming I know it's just too thick for me to get through, so I've got to abandon the run. Yeah. Got it. So it's not a critical failure kind of thing. Okay. Got it. So crap. Can't get that. Okay. So instead, uh, do you guys just want to make it look like, you know, just massive fucking explosion? How big explosion are we talking? Are we talking like blowing up a block or are we talking, uh, remember, remember the 5th of November? Uh, gunpowder plot, but actually successful and using TNT. <laughs> Even better, because you could just like yeah. stick it to a to like a corner that people yeah, probably wouldn't really normally look at. What I'll, what I, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make it look like the um, you know those terrorists we created, mm -hmm. the followers of the true way. Oh. I'm assuming that they don't like this whole magic technology. They probably they probably find this magic technology stuff a perversion of magic. So we'll make we'll, we'll make it look like they're attacking here now. And make people in this nation question: sh Should we really be using magic this much? It, you know, maybe we should be restricting magic more, kind of thing, and magic you, and more specifically, restricting magic users. So, yeah. we'll uh, we'll place. Uh, so, I'm guessing one night we're just gonna put a. a ma uh, I'm gonna put a massive pile of. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, actually. Um, I like to do an engineering check on this building, Ty, and figure out where the support structure is for the Capitol building. Underground. The, the Capitol building, or one, or or one the um, what to call it, Steve? The Capitol itself. You know, the one that actually people care about. Oh, I mean where the president and the source. Ooh, that's going to be a high engineering check. I'm going to tell you that right now. Good luck, even even if you're 35. Yeah. Actually, the engineering's only a 33, but... 39? Not enough. Okay. So, you know what? You know what? Let, let, let's not blow our top now. We've, got, we've gotten some good information. Let's not get too greedy. We'll just seal the tunnel up and make sure the mechanism's locked in such a way that it cannot be opened from the other side. And just and keep this in our back pocket, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. We'll set up a long-term lease with the guy... And we'll and we'll occasionally have a couple of our guys uh, using it. We'll 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 we'll, um, we'll we'll just have a couple of uh, a couple of our trusted guys just kind of come and go and do various. Uh, well, I'm Angel's here as well, so you could just have her lease it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll put her in here under an assumed name. This is where she'll be hiding. Well, Angel that paladin, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, they could just hide, yeah, hide her as roommates. Yeah. Yep. So she'll she'll just she'll start a uh, she'll just start a basic around the town courier business. I'm assuming she can do that with her steam wagon. Yeah. For a little bit of money. You know. Just it, it's it's again it's not the most, it's not the most exciting life, but it's a quiet one where no one notices her. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so we got her hidden here, and then yeah, so. She will. The, neither of them will be informed about the underground. By the way, for good reason. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. The pal. Well, yeah. One's a pal. Then if yeah. if she was forms, she has to bust them right away. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I assume you're going to um. Well, they don't exactly have it have the extensions to see his crowds, so no one's gonna know. It's mm -hmm. a couple of people just walking by. Yeah. Well, as I said, again, you know, we just we one day just kind of load up into the vehicle. Obviously, I have the guys in the back, kind of underneath tarps, so no one notices them. It just looks like I got a full load in the back, and I just drive off one day, and I never return. We get onto one of our ship, you know, we get carried up, lifted up into one of our ships, and we drive home. Yep. And I'll and the thing is I'll um 
because remember we've we've already tapped into the I've already tapped into the communications and we're recording pretty much everything that's going over there secret communications for the secret service guys. I yep. I would definitely have my people keep an ear out for when um uh, when that t first test goes through and see uh, and see how the reaction is since I've sabotaged the blueprints. Ooh, let's see how. F okay, I'm gonna check to see if they actually know the sabotage, and if they do, if they, if something, if what happens. So let's see if they know the sabotage. They do not. <laughs> so let's see if a scientist dies. Well, then remember, it's going to be whoever tests it. Well, yeah, the te yeah the tester has to be a. It's going to be one of the scientists, and one of them is severely injured. Oof. Like we're hearing screaming over the rail, like, like get get back, get back, get back out here, lower, lower the gates and lower the gates so we make out here. Something's wrong with the blueprint. We'll check. We'll check later on. Yep. So yeah, the second time, and let's see if they can actually find. Let's see how long it's going to take them to find the find the blueprint um thing. All right, it takes them a whole week, or knew us that something strange with the blueprints. So yeah, you yeah. Slow, you slow them that you slow them down to um try to figure out what's going on, but the guard the guard but the president's guards have increased. Yeah. Because now they think they're under a terrorist attack. Yeah. Good paranoia. Mm-hmm. But you also have the but you also have the blueprint and I'm gonna say with your engine with a default engineering check, mm -hmm. we have enough. We have enough to convert the, the magic base weapon into a regular, into a regular base weapon. Actually, I'm going to try to improve the designs uh, beyond what they what they were thinking. Make it a hard. Make it a, uh, make it. Um, well, make it. Some, I'm assuming that it's not cheap to produce, even my initial converted version. Uh, no, it's not. So I'm going to try to make uh, basically. Stamp metal version, you know, something that can be mass produced cheaply, as well as seeing uh, uh, just kind of, um, yeah. So I, I I actually do want to improve their designs, as well as change it enough so they uh, so that they uh, can't figure out it was my, uh, me, at least not now. Well, in that case, you have to roll that. Yeah. And this is craft machinery or engineering? Craft machinery. Okay. 44 to uh, kind of start the improvement process. Uh, if you start it, it's going to be a while before you finish it, though. Oh, yeah, I'm fine with that. So, you know, next I've got to obviously check on uh, my uh, my captive in the, uh, the uh, what was it, the sorceress chick. I'm assuming she is very much not happy after over a month. Of having her magic taken away. Oh yeah, she's not happy, and now she knows that um, the underground's going to be after her if she actually steps out. Mm -hmm. Well, yes. she doesn't know the she doesn't know that the, the lead of the underground works for you now, but you know what I mean. Oh yeah. So I'll basically go down there. My apologies for taking so long. Do you know what you've done? Do you know what people? Do you know what? Do you know what kind of people I'm in trouble with? Yes, very much so. What do you mean? Yes, very much so. No, the underground is offering quite the high reward for your uh, head on a platter. The, the underground. How do you know about the underground? Please, I know everything. 
Like they're they made up the most skilled thieves of Magra Ball. And yet they're second rate compared to my organization. Like I think I've constructed some of those tunnels. I mean this is this is a basic tunnel. The the main tell the main tells is in the mountain. The main tells is in the mountains. Yes. As and as I said, you know, I, I don't really care. I mean, but there's a there's a nice big reward for you. I don't know, maybe I should have collected. No, just let me let's let me go so I can pay them. <laughs> With what money? What do you mean what money? I have Oh. Oh. <laughs> We stole all your assets before the Sorcerer Council got to it. You really think we couldn't have gotten to all of your reserves of money? Uh, I'll I'll just hide out of one of the kingdoms that's not that's not connected to the Sorcerer Council, or that um land that that went through a civil war. They're not going to find me there. You, you mean the land that we control the underground of? There, the the underworld of there. Or the many others where we already have merchants everywhere, where who have, who also would want to collect that reward because they'd get a nice healthy percentage of it. And uh, intimidation of advance since she's starting to back off. Twenty-eight. Uh, she slowly, slowly drops the Karen attitude, and <laughs> is now in fear of the fact that she pretty much have a bounty on her head now, and she can't go to the Sorcerer Council to, for protection. No, she can't. <laughs> she can't go anywhere. So tell me, why should I keep you here? I mean. I mean, what? Maybe another month's worth. I mean, I could find another. I can find another magic user to test that formula on. She's immediately stunned silent, like she knows she can't think of an answer. What can you offer me to keep you safe? I've been kicked out. I've been kicked out of the university, and. I'm banned from your city. I can't do any hero, bro. I'm too old to fight anymore. I don't know what I can offer you. You know, the mysteries of magic are probably better than myself. I, I know a few of the mysteries, but I'm not the strongest magic user. But you... You know about magic. At least the theory of it. Have you ever thought of finding a way to destroy magic? Yeah. Prevent it from working on a large scale? That's gonna be hard. You have you have we have someone who's comes up with Mac Mac who sits in her office coming up with new magic spells. Yet, what? And, can and, she teach anyone else them? Um, no, she's not going to teach anyone else unless she perfected her it herself. So that's her power, not magic. You have a you have a bar that you have a bar that's miss that's gone missing for years, and but she but he always keeps an eye on things from this kingdom. You've heard of anti-magic fields, yes? They're temperamental, but they shut down all forms of magic that try to form in them. I was saying, I was saying, you have a freaking necromancer whose premise is cold as cold can be. Sometimes he, he's pretty much the necessary evil of the group. Like, 
Hell, he has prisoners just running around in in a desert just just for his entertainment. Hello. Still there. Oh. Just trying to think. So. so. I'm I'm saying look. Just obviously all of her spells work on magic. Yes. She's not pulling some other power source. So it doesn't uh, matter if she makes new ones. No. I'll, Same with the I'll, other ones. Yeah. All the all the council's magic, all the source of council's magic works on well magic. I mean technically, and he pops it out, this runs on magic, and he basically gestures to the backpack while he sits on the table in the room. It's just, it uses magic far more efficiently for what it does. Sure, it's a shortcut. So, would you like to take up that challenge in exchange for your continued existence in, sa in relative safety and comfort? Or do I feed you to the wolves? It's a date with advantage. Since, yeah. 29. That's... You know if I'm caught this time, it's the desert with me, right? Right. And, and you don't need magic to simulate desert heat. <laughs> don't worry. I have a nice place to hide you. Again, you're, you'll be a prisoner. But you'll be decently comfortable. Oh, uh, yeah. You'll be required. Uh, one one second. I'm going to take some medicine real quick. No problem. Uh, keep, keep past me. Thanks. I need to do your band aid too. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm going to try to do it, do it again. If it don't work, I'll call you. Yeah. You gotta clean that one now, too. Yeah. Oh, Patrick, one of the meds over there, the one that says three times a day. It's on this side. That, this side. This the, side the, right? the, the magnesium. This side? Over here. This side. I don't know. Magnesium. Oh, I... Over... oh this is magnesium. No. That's passive. I'm looking. I'll read it. It's next to a pill caddy. Oh, it's a, one of these small ones. No, next to it. This one? Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So, you put in this game. Let me know when you finish so I can do your bending. All right. You can see? Did I roll the big D one hundred? Yeah, yeah, Reese. Yeah, Reese. Roll, roll, roll for my. Roll my put some medicine. <laughs> <laughs> I did not realize it was almost four thirty. Yeah. Time flies. Yeah, time flies when you're uh. When, when you're fun taking over the world. Yeah. 
when you're about to uh, subjugate someone into indentured, into indentured servitude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, well, she has no choice, but she also realized that if if she fucks around this, if she fucks around this time, they'll no find out. Yeah, and they'll find out in the desert heat. Well, she should be more scared of us than them. <laughs> uh, remember, them includes a freaking um, necromancer. So yeah, she is scared of the necromancer more than you right now. By the way, I did a little teeny tiny roll on the keyboard cover. I got a ninety-five. <laughs> I, I don't know what that gets me, but but uh, it, it yeah, it's a ninety-five. All right, let me just do this real quick, and then we'll continue. Hopefully it works this time. Also, hey, Jim. That was a Sabaton concert. Hey, hey, Jim. Hey, Jim. As you can see, your teammates took over the try, try take, try take over the a, a presidential capital. <laughs> <laughs> And and dealt and dealt with an underground and dealt with an underground crime syndicate. <laughs> and now and now Hassel, you're working for you guys. Okay. <laughs> Since it's basically four thirty, yeah, would you say it's a good time to call it? Uh I guess so. Um I guess <laughs> I guess try Romy Intimidate one more time just to um make her scared of you and not the and not and not the questionable oh. and not and not the question will be um yeah. The crushable necromancer yeah, and, it's like, and it's desert of death. Yeah, I'm saying, look, trust me, you fail. I'm sure as hell gonna make sure you're not going to desert of death. I'll make you disappear somewhere far worse than this. You know what I'm capable of. I'm using nothing but this, and I hold up a little vial of the magic uh, of the magic reduction stuff. Have sealed away your magic. You're a fairly, fairly powerful sorceress. Now, tell me what happens if I start adding in other things to it. How long do you think it'll last? You don't exactly have the hardiest constitution, so you should. So you shouldn't worry about the council. I'll worry about them. You should worry about meeting my expectations. <laughs> Understood. All right, roll of advantage. Twenty-one. God damn it! You might want to roll again. Okay. Thirty-seven. Uh, yeah. For right now, she's scared of you more than scared of the neck. The Good. the the question will be um the questionable necromancer. Good. Now, now let's get you north of the mountain range into a nice, comfy little research facility under heavy guard. Well, this will be it. Well, this was an interesting session. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like you, you stop, you stop the combat from hap. You stop a combat from happening. <laughs> Got a new uh, ally that's a bit more willing to work with us, though we're definitely going to have to keep an eye on her. Make sure he doesn't betray us. And, and, and you any temporary snuck snick a talent to the president's, into the president's mansion. Uh, that's a permanent talent, man. <laughs> As we get better technology and better overall, we'll uh, deal with that. You know, like a little bit of rings of invisibility will make the stealth a lot easier. But 
Yeah, yeah that's that'll be that'll be interesting because obviously it's gonna be a tight guard now because of what happened. Oh, yeah. so, but, well, I, I'm guessing that's it for the day. I'm actually gonna get wandering because I'm kind of hungry and want to take a nap. Same here. I'm gonna start getting uh, some dinner ready. So I guess right, well, I hope we have fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. Sounds like a plan. I hope you won't be a, be a be a stranger during the rest of the week. I'll try to show up around the rest of the week, Reese. But I, I'm same here. You know, combination of work and other servers draw my time. Same here. I might should be encouraged to start screening again. Yep. Yeah, so. Shall we all later? Bye. Have uh, a good one, everybody. See ya. <laughs>